Disturbing discovery, police in Anne Arundel County find more than 50 cats and kittens living in a filthy home. Eight of them were found dead. WJC's live in Glen Burnie, Amy Yancey, on how the animals were discovered. Amy. Well, Vic, since I last checked in with you guys, I was able to walk down Westphalia Court and talk to neighbors that are getting in from work, most of them finding out from us. They say they had no idea someone here had so many cats living in such bad conditions. Police say what they found behind this door can only be described as deplorable. The front steps smeared in cat feces, a clue of what's inside. Officers checking on the Glen Burnie home on Monday after the landlord reported the stench. And when they started talking to the tenant about the smell and about the conditions of the animals, uh, she closed the door. Officers returning with a search warrant called for backup from animal control after discovering nearly five dozen cats and kittens, eight of them dead and 51 living in absolute filth. 59 too many. Cat urine, um, possible carcasses, you know, from just decaying um, animals. The rescued animals suffering from malnutrition, respiratory infections, dehydration, and other illnesses. That many cats and all that in that house and Oh my God, like, and nobody knew. The landlord did not want to go on camera, but lives nearby. She tells WJZ she realized something was off when a contractor she hired to fix the attached townhouse complained about the smell. Then realizing the tenant, an elderly woman living alone, had covered the window so that no one could see inside. It's absolutely gross. You know, and it's a shame. The landlord tells WJZ this house is an investment property. She says it's in such bad shape because of the number of cats and the damage they cost. It will take most of her retirement money to save it. The tenant was taken to an area hospital. The surviving cats are getting treated by a veterinarian and are in protective custody. And that woman is undergoing an evaluation at the hospital. If she's found to be in good health, she could face charges. We're live tonight in Glen Burnie. Amy NCWJZ Eyewitness News. Vic. Amy, thank you. Some of the cats were in such bad health that they had to be put down. Those that recover will likely be put up for adoption.